who was Sergei Diaghilev, or who still he is because he's still very present in uh, the ballet life. He was a great impresario, uh, art lover, art connoisseur, and he was shaping the, um, the look of dance, and not only dance, but also the visual art, fashion, in the beginning of the 20th century. Great personality. First of all, he was he influenced the um, dance art for forever, I think, and uh, you know that the, the beginning of the 20th century was uh, was very important period in the, in the development of dance art. It uh, it looked never the same afterwards. Um, he was able to assemble assembled the varied artists, you know, from the visual art, like the big names like Picasso, from the music like Stravinsky. Uh, the great choreographers were actually born under his uh, wings, like uh, Nijinsky, like uh, Massin, uh, like Balanchine, like Lifar. So, I mean, we cannot, I think, say um, enough uh, who was or who is Diaghilev uh, to the um, art of dance. And for me, First of all, you know, when I heard about him when I was uh, still a student in the Dance Academy in Poland, it was very mysterious uh, character because, um, you know, we didn't talk so much about, we talk about the ballerines, but he was um, not only a dance lover and uh, art lover and uh, connoisseur, but he was also a flamboyant homosexual. He was a lover of Nijinsky. So all these things we knew about, but like between the lines, and it was something very, you know, very fascinating and there was a big secret, you know, it was connected with all the uh, people who left later uh, defected the, the East Bloc. So it was somehow connected with, uh, uh, through the strange, um, uh, maybe connection through Avek uh, Nureyev and Baryshnikov. So absolutely great personality and the later when I started to learn about him more and uh, follow his life a little bit, um, I, I learned how much uh, he did uh, for the dance world, about all these artists he was able to put together, but also what, how important uh, he was in the life of Nijinsky and uh, um, you know, like uh, the, this double, double role he play, played in his life. So on the one hand, he was really I think very inspiring for Nijinsky, maybe even put a lot of pressure on Nijinsky to, to, to develop. On the other hand, he was, you know, like a master manipulating with his, with his Petrushka, you know, one of the characters Nijinsky danced under, under his, um, you know, it was the ball Fokin's ballet, but it was uh, commissioned by, by Diaghilev. So, very, very important person.